morning oh no morning people um light wasn't good enough yesterday to a to do a video because it was just horrible um so we're going to do what i said we were going to do which we're going to do i'm going to show how to teach your dog to walk in gap um or in between or in bridge or whatever words you use and all and and from that to um some people call it cop cop um which i'm not sure why i just call it paws on feet you know i sell her feet and she puts her paws on my feet and we walk like that okay so that's what we're gonna do we just did her wobble board and we did an object guard yesterday and i have to say it's the worst object guard she's ever done i mean we did have people around us and i think it made her more highly protective and instead of staying on her object to guard it she was coming forward and yeah, i weren't very impressed to be honest but still he's very young and you, you're allowed to make errors aren't you darling she goes well i try very hard not to make errors mummy that's an error going down your mummy's jumper <laughs> yeah that's a big error right come on right said are you ready let me put my treats in my pocket roll my sleeves up right miss sedley oh, i suppose i better have a treat out she goes what are we doing mummy but well, I, I kind of haven't told you have i she goes no said he said he Heel. Come on, Zeddy. Heel. Sit. Look a switch. Gap. Okay, so when you've got your dog into the gap, and I just I, I spoke about that yesterday. Now, you've got your reward in your hand, and we, we got, so I'm a little bit short of room, obviously. And said forward. So we teach the dog forward and back, 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 back. Left. Back. Forward. Red. Turn, circle, circle, and other circle. No, back, other circle. Good girl. And we're going to go left. Good girl. Turn, forward, right. Good girl. Back. Good girl. Now you can see there, right, she'll go in any direction. Yes, this has taken a while to train. And I mean, when you circle, you keep one foot and you guide the leg, the, sh the dog's shoulder with your other leg. I'm not squeezing on her, I'm just using my, obviously you don't squeeze your dog, it's not a horse. And you just turn with your dog. I mean, using the wobble pad, obviously, is going to help with your dog's paw placement and its rear end awareness. So, that's that, okay? And... It's a great way, if, you, if you're walking through a busy, really busy street, if you put your dog into gap, it's not going to get in the way. You know, if you've got a honking great dog and you can't get astride it, I don't have the answer. I'm very short, I'm only five foot one. So if like I had um, a Mali or a German Shepherd, I'd probably have a slight problem, especially with the old German Shepherd I used to have. She was massive. Um, right, Z. So on this one, on feet, on feet and you can see she's standing on my feet look good girl now to start with you just want to go up and down root and praise the dog good girl no nope. place praise the dog good girl good girl now she say feels safe there so we're going to just that's on feet forward good and back good come on feet be very small in your steps going backwards because you don't want to step on your dog's back on your bad dog's back paws. Forward, left. Good girl. And back. Good. On feet. Right set. Good. Right set. Good. Back. Good. Left. Good. Back. Up here. Okay. Yes. And for all of that work, she's got one treat. Or one bit of a food allowance, daily food allowance. As you all know, it, it, she's on a 500 gram raw food allowance a day. And I take 100 grams out of that for a reward. Now, if it's not all used, she just gets a lighter lunch. Because I do like my dogs lean. I don't I don't like to see weight on dogs. They, they shouldn't have weight. It, you know, it just puts pressure on their joints, the liver, the heart and everything. It's a very small amount. So, 
I take it a gap for this particular exercise from the heel position, Z. Z, focus me. Switch. Gap. Gap. Okay, so once again, forward. Always start off left footed, please. Left. And you do direct, I mean, she knows the left and right anyway, but direct with, it's like, see this leg, and then I put this leg forward to turn her by the shoulder. Forward. Again, turn with the shoulder. And this is also going to help your dog learn its left and right. Forward, forward, and here, left. See where my leg is? It's right on her right shoulder. Forward, turn, stay in position. Right. Same again on the right. Good girl. Don't get too excited. Forward. Turn. On feet. No, on feet. Now to start with the on feet, because I haven't explained that, I will show you. Right, even in this I, I'm left legged because obviously with heel work you start you just take off with your left leg and your dog should not move if you put your right foot forward. Remember small steps, forward, forward you can take slightly bigger steps. Your dog will splay its feet and if the dog's feet fall off she's readjusting. Turn, circle, 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 good Zed, good. Okay, feet off, feet up, and heel, good. Gap, now when you first start your dog on feet, literally it is a case of on feet actually she does it the other way on feet yes and you would reward on feet and just as i said just wiggle your feet so the dog feels comfortable going up and down yes and reward and it, literally it's just something you're going to have to practice people i haven't yet met a dog that won't do this trick if you you know you put the time in and sometimes it can take time i mean she's been doing this since she was about three months old so she's very comfortable on feet, aren't you? Okay. So there we go. Yes. I don't have to put your bloody wobble pad down. You you know, it's if you don't what? Okay, get my tip back, hold on. And this is obviously part of the service work. Hold. Thank you. Good girl. I think you feel we're not doing enough service work training, don't you? She goes, Well mummy, I, I get a bit worried when you're not well. She goes, I'm not you know. You're a good girl. Okay, do you want to target? Target. 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 Yes, target. Yes. And should we show people how you shut the door? Yes, you can see the door. Zed, come to heel. No, off heel. Zed, shut the door. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. And let's come tuck in. We've got to say goodbye to the people. Said, come, tuck in, tuck, tuck, tuck that bottom in. Oh, she's a good girl. Give me that nose. Mm, yes. Right, hold on. She goes, Mummy, you're being damn mean with treats these days. Well, yes, darling, you can't spend your life with me walking around with food. No, no, that's naughty. You, you don't go and grab yourself, do you? Focus me, please. Thank you. We're going to do a little up, a little up. Okay, we're going to wave. Wavy, wavy. Oh, Zedley. She's got a little bit one-handed with this. I've got to, like, use the same... I've got to use my right hand for Wavy. That's my fault. You know, I'm not a perfect trainer, and I think any trainer out there that thinks they've got it down, you know, 100%, they're going to come across a dog that says, well, mate, you just ain't going to work for me. You know, we have to remember all dogs are different. I mean, without a doubt, Zed's been the most difficult dog that I've had. <laughs> she goes, I'm oh, sorry, Mummy. Right, good luck. And Wavy, Wavy... Like, share, subscribe, people. Oh, that was a good wave. Wavy, wavy. Good girl, focus me. No, focus me and wave. Focus me and you won't hit yourself in the face, you dumb cow. Come on. Focus. Focus, mommy. Wave. Focus, focus. Now, said you've got a little problem here. Said, come in. Right. Do a little up. Wave, focus me. Yes. Good. Please like, share and subscribe people. Bye.